Welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Today, we're talking about solar energy. Solar energy is energy that comes from the sun. We get our energy from the sun just like all the other planets in our universe. We have this large star that sits in the universe that's made up of gases like helium and hydrogen and a few other gases. The sun gives solar energy to Earth by rays. The rays radiate out to Earth, but we don't receive all of the energy because of our atmosphere. We are fortunate to have solar energy because solar energy is free. It is a renewable energy and it never runs out. We use solar energy every day. Plants grow, rain falls, the wind blows. We use it so that we can see. We use it to heat things. If people hang out clothes on the outside, it will dry the clothes. It helps with the water cycle. Solar energy is so important. Now, we have ways that we can use solar energy so that we can improve life and not use up all of our non-renewable energy sources. Solar energy can be used in order to make electricity when we use wind turbines. It's also used on people's homes. Some people have what they call solar collectors. These collectors collect solar energy from the sun and it is able to create electricity for a house. Also, some homes have what we call solar panels and I'm sure you've seen these before. With solar panels, it heats up the home and it is energy that is free to use and all you have to do is put those panels on there and your home can be heated up, warm throughout just from using solar panels. There are so many ways that we can use solar energy on an everyday basis. Over the years, countries that do not have electricity, they have used things like wood, to uh, make fire and cook their food. But engineers have come up with the design where they've made solar ovens. And solar ovens are used to cook food or to heat food. It uses solar energy, which radiates radiant energy, and it transfers to heat energy, which we call thermal energy. It allows food to cook in an oven just like you would in your home when you use electricity or natural gas for your oven. Today we're going to make a solar oven. Are you ready for this challenge today? I hope so. But before we start, warning, you will need adult supervision for this activity today. Also, do not cook raw food in your solar oven. Use foods such as you could use uh, tortilla chips and put cheese on it to let the cheese melt. You could use marshmallows and chocolate. You could use graham crackers with marshmallows on it. Something that you can cook easily that's not raw. All right, let's get started. The materials you will need for this experiment, a pizza box, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, scissors, pencil, a skewer, ruler, black construction paper, and tape. Okay, step one. We're going to trace our pizza box. We're going to use our pencil and ruler and we're going to trace a square one inch from the edge around. Next, we're going to take our scissors and get someone to help you and we're going to put a hole and cut out the top part of the lid on three sides. Top, side, side. Do not cut the bottom part out. 
now that you have the flap cut out, and look what I did. Remember, you don't want to cut it all the way out. You want it to be able to open at the top. We're going to take our aluminum foil and tape it onto the lid that stands up. And we want to use the shiny side because this is the part that will reflect the sun. So you want to just fold it, give it a crease, and take your tape, and just tape it on the back like this. So when that sun hits this part is going to reflect the light into the inside of our oven. All right, now we have this part done. Next, we're going to take this part of the lid and we're going to cover it in plastic wrap. Why do you think we're using plastic wrap on this part of the oven. What does the plastic wrap act as? It's like it's clear, so it's just like a window. Make sure when you tape it, you seal it all the way around at the top and make sure you seal it beneath so that there are no openings. So even if you want to come back and put a piece here, I would, at the bottom, and you can put a piece here if you need to because you don't want any leaks. You want it to trap in that heat completely. Next, we're going to take our black construction paper and we're going to tape it to the bottom of the box. The black construction paper is going to absorb the heat. You know, if you've seen uh, people and they uh, leave the, the car and it's summertime and it's a black car, and when you go back out, it's extremely hot. Well, that's because black absorbs all that heat. And we need that heat inside of our oven, oven so that we can cook the food. It's like a greenhouse effect. When it's closed in, it traps in the heat, and that heat begins to cook, cook the food that we have in there. So I'm going to tape this down. You tape yours really well. Now, once you get this basic part done, which is what we've done, you can add insulation. The more insulation you have, the hotter your oven will get inside. So you can decide on what kind of materials could you use to insulate your oven even more. So now we have our oven ready. We have our black construction paper. We have our foil so that it can reflect the heat inside the oven. The black construction paper will absorb and then the plastic wrap will trap in the heat. Once you get your oven complete, you will need a skewer. The skewer is going to be used to angle our reflection part. And so you would just take it and find, put a little hole in there, in your box, oops. put a hole in your box, and you would just angle it, just like this, so that it props at the top. You can also tape this part if you can't uh, put a hole in it. Just tape this part and decide where you, how far you want to angle this in order for it to reflect. Okay, I've set my solar oven out. It's a little cloudy here today, 
but I put inside my solar oven some chips, cheese, and notice I've angled my box with the skewer and I'm going to let it sit out here and see how long it takes to cook. Well friends, my nachos did not cook because I did not have enough solar energy because it is too cloudy today where I live. But I hope when you make your solar oven that the sun is out and shining bright and the temperatures are up. Remember, when you make your solar oven, remember the challenge and have some insulation and try out different things. You can even make your solar oven completely different than this one. You can use any type of box that you would like to. Also, solar energy is created from radiant energy from the sun and transferred to thermal energy, which is heat energy. That is how the food is cooked. I'm so happy to have done this lesson using one of my favorite resources from need.org. If you need any resources when it comes to energy, go to need.org. It is a nonprofit organization that offers free workshops to teachers, that offers free materials that you can use in your classroom. I will leave a link below. Alright friends, see you in my next video.